Hey Gemini, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of September general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So my fellow Geminis, when I was meditating over our energy, the song that I heard was I Keep Forgetting by Michael McDonald. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, Mr. McDonald happens to be in Aquarius, so you could be dealing with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual. I'm also hearing Taurus and Scorpio right now, okay? So you could be dealing with Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, specifically Sun signs, that's what I'm hearing. Um... And then I also heard the phrase, some things you can, for what, what was it? Some things can be forgiven, but never forgotten. And that makes a lot of sense because in the song, that's what he says over and over again in the hook, I can't forget, I can't forget. And then he names a different variation of things that he can't forget and he'll never forget. And it's like, I definitely feel like Mercury Retrograde has brought some past people into your life. I know this, I'm picking this up. Um, again, you guys know Mercury Retrograde starts September 9th and it ends October 2nd. And I do feel like somebody from your past came back and I feel like you've never 100% fallen out of love with this person. And it's like, yeah, you can forgive certain things or at least that's what your heart tells you, but you'll never forget how it made you feel. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like that's, somebody could be in a little bit of mental turmoil because it's like, I can, I can, I can get past certain things, but my heart just won't completely expel what happened. That, that causes separation. Now, also, if you're currently in a relationship, somebody may have, in some way, made you question their character. I'm getting that also, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the lovers, and we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I almost said Libra, so some of you guys can be done with a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individual also, okay? Yeah, see, even as I stop here at the bottom of the deck, you got the five of swords, conflict, arguments, disagreements. You got two people in the background, so it definitely gives me a vibe that there was possibly a third party. And it's like, yeah, you may have over the time, because sword up is just sword down is no. Other five swords, four of the swords are down. So over the past four months or since something that happened possibly in April... April is four. And remember, I did say Taurus. Taurus season does start in April. So possibly some type of breakup or something in April regarding multiple parties. You may have had a little time to heal, but you're still guarded. So you may want to forgive this person, but you'll never forget what they did to you. Because if you notice, these people are behind him in the past. So this is a past situation that a lot of you all are still very guarded towards. And remember, I also said Aquarius. Because Michael McDonald, the, uh, the person who sings the song, he's an Aquarius. If you notice right here by his sword... And Aquarius is also air sign sword. There's stars. And the major arcana for Aquarius is star, the star card. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with Aquarius. Um, or this could have been a situation that happened in Aquarius season, which is January, February. Okay? So let's go ahead and see what we get for you guys today. Yeah. This is involving a love interest. You got the ace of cups here. And then you have the queen of swords. That's why I said both of these people are on guard. So you've, this person very much has made you feel on guard. Like they may have preyed on you. You see how all these other birds are flying high so they're safe from that cat. Cat, predator, prey. So some of you guys let your guard down at one point and you vow to never do it again, especially with this specific person. So let's see. I told you, somebody's trying to come back. Judgment card, reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. That's major arcana, so that's a definite energy. Some of you guys definitely have somebody who wants to come back. They're promising you the world. If you guys got a brand new star, the fool card, taking a leap of faith into something new. So let's go ahead and get your major arcana, the lovers, the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Yeah, you may have had a, a nice little period of time away from this person because we got mid-deck before we got your card. So here's your major arcana, the lovers, and right in front of it, yep, you guys are guarded. Seven of Wands, guarding this defensiveness, feeling very protective of yourself because there was betrayal in the past. Definitely. Let's see what's behind that. Yep. Wow. And I said Libra. And you got the Justice card right behind that. Yeah. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra. Also, some of you guys, this person is going to come back in Libra season, which starts a couple days from now. It will still be within Mercury retrograde time period. So you definitely have somebody who wants to come back. 
Um, I've seen at the very back of the deck, you have the King of Pentacles. So strong Taurus energy. Wow, I said Taurus earlier also. So strong Taurus energy, either a person or a time frame. Okay, again, Taurus season is April, May, or you're dealing with a, someone who has strong Taurus in their chart. Whatever the case, this person wants to make peace, and you may not even be trying to hear or see it. So let's get your clarifier for the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, someone definitely stabbed you in the back. This is your energy. Swords, but also, like I said, if you're dealing with Aquarius, that's their energy also. So the Aquarius could be the one who stabbed you in your back, or this could have happened in Aquarius season. Or again, this could just be you being betrayed by someone that you feel like you have to guard yourself from. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries also. I'm getting, for a lot of y'all, again, this could be a... Wow, okay. I just want, and you guys see, I'm not touching this deck, right? Look what's right behind it. Yeah. So, a lot of y'all are healing from heartbreak. Three of Swords, that's your energy also. Heartbreak, sadness, grief, sorrow. And I was saying, for some of you guys, this past person was a fire sign. If you notice behind the heart, there's flames. So, for a lot of y'all, a fire sign did this, this, this type of heartbreak here. And I, they want to come back either in Libra season or they may have strong Libra in their chart. Somebody has strong Libra in their chart or Libra season, this person's going to come back. Like I said, in the next couple days, we will officially be in Libra season. So this will be coming up fairly soon. So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have a five of wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. You just had the five of swords. Now you had a five of wands. Five plus five is ten. And ten in numerology is the very end of a cycle. Something is wrapping up. Something is closing. So for a lot of you all, you feel like the cycle is over and you're guarding yourself. You're protecting yourself. I feel like also for some of you all. If you didn't officially block someone when they try to reach out, because you already have the judgment card, somebody's going to try to reach out. When they try to reach out, you, you're going to block their ass mid-text. You're going to block their phone calls. You're going to block them on social media. You, I feel like there's just an energy of blockages. I also want to let you guys know today at my Etsy shop, the link is in the description box below, I'm doing a 919 sale. In other words, it's just a reduced um, reading, tarot reading sale. So for two, um, you get a two card to clarify a reading. And it will be a reduced price, but only until midnight for today, 919, okay? So let's part the deck and shuffle. You have the Hermit, Major Arcana connected to Virgo, and we are currently in Virgo season. So for a lot of you guys, this person has come back in Virgo season, or you may have separated from this person, or there was some type of drama in Virgo season. You'll never forget something that they did, where they put, where there was a lot of people involved that caused chaos and drama. I'm going to say again, something with um, Aquarius. Because even though this is the Hermit, if you notice in his lantern, it's a star there. And Major Arcana for Aquarius is star card. So let's go ahead and get your clarifiers. Just seeing a sun card. So there is some healing that's coming in, but you, you have to make a decision. Tools and numerology talks about decision. Um, also with that too, if you notice, there's two ships. Relationship. For some of you all, you're like, I want to get rid of this shit relationship that has all the baggage. And you're open to starting something new. Because you have the five of wands now in reverse like... For some of y'all, you may feel like, and look how that shuffle was. It wouldn't even go in. So some of you guys are definitely confused. And for others, you don't feel like this relationship is even worth fighting for. Yeah, a lot of confusion. That's exactly what I was picking up. Feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place. Exactly. This is the second card that you had when someone's blindfolded. So for some of y'all, this person has not appeared or resurfaced in your life yet. But they're coming. I'm definitely getting something with Aquarius, okay? So you got the Empress, Taurus, Libra, Aries energy. But if you notice her crown is stars. I'm definitely getting Aquarius vibes here. And again, that strong Taurus energy. For every Empress, there's an Emperor. Vice versa, same sex, however it applies. Whatever the case, it just seems like a lot of you all could A, be looking at life like I know my worth. So I'm moving on. I'm going in a different direction. Because if you notice here, her back is facing two of swords. No longer confused. No longer indecisive. You know, she's holding her staff, which means she's in her power. But it took time for you to get to that position. It took time for you to get to that place. Also, something can I'm going to say, I'm getting also because you do have 10 and Mercury Retrograde does end in October 10. Some of you guys could be feeling like let down by somebody's actions, especially if you're already in a relationship. You could feel let down by somebody's actions during um, October also. And this is not meant to be a negative reading. It's just you guys are seeing what I'm doing. It's just more so meant to say that a lot of you guys have dealt with some type of betrayal and you may be wrapping that up in October. Like, you know what I'm done. I'm, I'm going to protect myself from this continuous cycle that I'm going through with this person. Bottom of the deck. Now you have the Empress in reverse. So some of you guys may have thought this was going to be a person that you're going to marry or be with long term. And you're realizing like they're not the one. So that's what could be happening in October. And that's what I'm getting now. Like in October, you may realize like, cause this is Libra energy also. 
So you have Taurus, Libra, and Aries. This could be Libra energy also. You, a lot of you guys, strong Aquarius, strong Libra energy here. And it does seem like, again, it doesn't just have to be their sign. It could be in Libra season. You could decide, like, this is not my person. I don't even want to be with this individual anymore. I have to move on. So let's get a clarifier for the seven of seven of wands for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clarify for the seven of wands for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm just getting something with seven also. July. Yeah, because you have that seven of wands. Something happened in July. Or it, it could be involving a July Leo. Someone could be a life path number seven also. Okay, you see what flipped out. Yeah, somebody's done with the conflict. Someone's dealing with done with the heartbreak and sorrow. Because the five of cups are right. The sorrow said is grief. And you see he's looking at three cups that have spilled over. So again, somebody was betrayed by some type of third party situation. And I feel like you're, you've are you healed from it because now you have the five of cups in reverse. And that's what's allowing you to stay guarded, stay very vigilant with your own protection. A lot of you guys are very guarded and protective with your space and energy right now. And it's, I'm just being told to be mindful be be vigilant about your protection with this past person, but allow a new person to come in because it does look like a new person definitely could be coming in for you if you are single or just recently single. Because even though she's here in the physical, he's a ghost, but he's still present in her, in her energy, right? Male or female just plats her where it fits, which means somebody could be coming in. This person has a very strong aura, very strong energy. Is they may come off like a warrior. Like they just have a strong presence that is kind of intimidating, but they could be soft, just very like a lap dog when it comes to you. First middle last initial could be C G M W S T K H and L. I just heard Christopher and Christian. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you got three of pentacles in reverse. So again, this goes back to what I was saying. He's looking at three cups and and this is in reverse, and you have three of pentacles in reverse. I definitely feel like there was a third party. Third party could have been either a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or again, because you do have that seven that could be connected to July. July is both Cancer and Leo season, so it could have been around the cusp time of the, that time frame where there was some type of betrayal that took place. There could have been a breakup of a union. I, I do feel like in October, some of you all may decide to leave someone alone and keep your options open to something else. I don't feel like this will be a sad time. I feel like there'll be someone new already in your life, someone that catches your attention is what I'm getting. Because if you notice here, everything is blue and kind of dark, but you have these red flowers. That's growth. Something else is blossoming. So that's why I said I don't feel like this is a negative reading. And you guys know you're my fellow Gemini, so I'm always making sure I get the most information for us, right? But I feel like there's something already where you felt like, okay, I'm just, I'm done. Like he's dead and done. Like I'm done with relationships. The universe is like, yeah, not so much. Something else is growing and blossoming around you. So let's get a clarifier for the Ten of Swords. Okay. Yeah, so some of you guys could be very guarded against a brand new star because you don't trust people because of what you've been through recently or in the in the recent past is what I'm getting. Fool card, taking a leap of faith into something new. Major Arcana, so that's a definite energy. Aries, Aquarius, again. Now, I'm also getting that for some of you all, you're going to realize like, I okay, thank you, universe. I keep forgetting. Like, that's the name of the song, right? That's the song that I channel. So it's like, I keep forgetting, and then I keep allowing this person to come back and hurt me over and over again. Because these are multiple stab wounds in the back. No one can, if you didn't trust this person, they would not be allowed to come and hurt you this many times. So you let down your guards because you love this person. You gave it one chance after another, and every single time they betrayed you. And you're like, I'm not doing this again. I'm not going to do it again. There's not going to be any more new starts. And again, I'm going to say strong Aquarius energy. Again, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be something that happened in Aquarius season, January, February. Also, strong Libra energy as well. Whatever the case is, like like the song goes, I keep forgetting. Like, you gave this person time at the time, and you kept forgetting. And it wasn't so much that you forgot. It was just like the love was so prominent there, or at least that's how you felt, that you gave this person chance after chance after chance after chance, and each time they let you down. And But this time around, you're like, I'm done with that. No more crying, no more sorrow, no more moping around. Because some of you all could have been in a sunken place. He has his black cloak on. This is a sunken place. The sky is gray. There's nothing but darkness. In reverse, it's like, I'm done with that, and I'm not going to keep giving this person one chance after another. It's done. That's what I'm hearing right now. It's done. Also with that 10, because Mercury retrograde ends in October 10, 
you have come to a conclusion like this cycle is done because retrogrades just bring cycles back that haven't had proper closure, a proper conclusion. And I feel like during this time you're realizing that and you're like, yeah, I'm stronger. I'm much stronger this time. Upright reverse doesn't matter. It's a major arcana, so it's definite energy. So in reverse, you're just saying it through your strength, like I'm done, I'm wrapping this up. You're not going to get another chance. That's over. That's what I'm getting for you right now in this time frame, Gemini. Okay? So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.